Hi, welcome to my fourth tutorial on Erlang. Today we're going to be talking about a list. A list is a built-in data structure. They are delimited by the square brackets. They can contain variety types including order list. An example of a list would be L1 contains three atoms, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. A list can also contain another list, for example, yeah. so as you can see, this list contains one integer, and two other list. A list can be broken down into two elements, the head or tail. The head is the first element and the tail is the remainder of the list. For example, head or tail. As you can see, H, which is the head, contains 1, which is the head of the list of L2. And tail, tail is the remainder of the list. A list where the tail is a list is sometimes called a proper list, like we have here in T. To get the length of a list, we just use the function length. And as you can see, the length is 3. So, the length of L1, the length is, length is 3 as well. To display all the variable bindings in Erlang, you can use the B function. So, as you can see, H has been binded to 1, L1 has been binded, L2 has been binded, T has also been binded. To forget all the variable bindings, we use the F function. And now if we check all the bindings, it's all cleared. Now we're going to talk about the list library. The list itself contains few useful functions that we might need. For example, let's make a new list. Ten. So we already know how to use the length function. Now we can call the list library. So list. Don't forget the S list, the columns. And to get the max value in a list, we use the max method on our list. So that's the highest, well, the max, the max value in the list. To reverse a list, we use the reverse function so this is reversed to sort a list but current list is sorted so let's make a new list l2 And just to demonstrate the list mask, ma max, <laughs> list, max, two. It's probably a better example, to be honest. Eight. And to sort the list, sorted list. And to get the sum of the list, this only works for similar type variables. 
So sum of 23. And to delete a specific value in a list, we use the delete method. So we want to delete 3 from list 2. So list 2 has a deleted value. But when we call the list 2, 3 is still there. Because once you declare a value, it cannot be changed. Hope you enjoy my tutorial for today. See you next time.